So let's go ahead and get started, Cha. A little bit of PSO bonus stream. I figured while it's rare item week, we might as well just do another one. Albeit very briefly, since we won't be doing Phoenix in the evening. It's be a little treat for Saturday, I suppose. So I'm thinking we'll do some warm-up TTF. I'm gonna get this character some levels. So feel free to log in. Join us in the crusade for maybe a red ring, or finally, maybe, the parasitic gene flow for Dango. So I think we'll split the session just between those two. We'll do like four or so TTFs in the parasitic gene flow. So give chat a minute or so to log in. Oh, <laughs> let's not do Anguish 1. Does he still have his health stuff on him? He does. You know what? I'll do a quick run while I'm waiting for Chan. I'm going to be present for at least one of each since I need more rings and more jeans. That's fair. So if you're doing about an hour, maybe it would make sense to do three TTFs, one RT for you. Let's be honest, it ain't coming for me. Oh no. The lack of faith. Escape doll, I don't want you. I mean, I'll pick you up. So yeah, by the time I'm done with this, chat should be ready, waiting for me in block two. I'm thinking of playing this character specifically into uh, TTF, of course. Yeah, so I'm getting a little less XP. Like I could, I could slightly break 100 XP a second during this quest, but it's not consistent. So I think we were talking before. It's like. Somewhere either it's between 20 and 30% less XP than I'm used to. It does boost the rare item rate up, which is more important, I guess, for people doing farms. Yeah, like, see that? Like, I didn't really clear 120. Whereas, like, before, with 30% more XP, I'm very likely to hit 130 to 140. So anyway, we'll just do a quick little cleanup, since I don't have any weapons on him anyway. And then I'll give chat the time it takes for me to uh, get all my items back to continue forward. I mean, I should probably just sell these regardless. Doesn't even matter if they're not worth money, because I'm just gonna sell them anyway. That is unfortunate that it took my aim sideways like that. If that didn't happen, I could have gotten the kill. There we go. That always makes me sad about traps when that happens. I'm <laughs> just like, I'm like really? You had to turn to shoot the thing dead in front of you? Oh well, we're almost done with the run. Oh, that was a song transition. It's too early. There we go. Yeah, that was a whiplash. I swear I didn't skip it, it just did it on its own. Yeah, nothing of interest there. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it in block two. This time remove ultimate anguish, thank you. Bonuses to human females, oof. I am none of the above. Oh, Chris is bringing in the serious character.
Something about the bu 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 was reminding me of Sweet in. So we have a lot of money because it's doing box runs. Might put some of it away. Although I'm using this character, he'll probably burn it. Let's put this away. Honestly, maybe I just keep him with the Hell Handgun forever. Think about it. I don't want it on him currently. That just introduces menuing I don't want to do. I'm Huban, yeah, something like that. Do we have an open slot for anybody that wants to join? Yeah, Dango is Hugh Moore. <laughs> Get the, uh... What a Vulcan. Wow, a 30% Dark Vulcan. If only that was on something more interesting. Um... Humorous, exactly. Uh, what else do I need? I could take the Jaya. Okay. Oh, my red handgun. It's like I'm trying to think through. There it is. I mean, I could bring S Red Bleed as a backup if I'm really desperate. But this should be everything I need. So I got my Worm Killers. Got my Anti Machine. Got Vice. Probably good enough. No, well, I guess I could bring Charge Ray Gun as well, actually. 30% dark. If only that was on the Ray Gun, that would have been so much more useful. Also, take the 5% dark on this, though. Better than nothing. Luck one, Zark has found. We'll feel seized with how much it? 20? Nice. Okay, so we'll be getting started in just a moment. Ironically, I might be the party buffer. As as the you cast, I'm bringing S Red Blade. So final call for people that want to do some TTF runs. Uh, it's up to you. I'm willing to do TTF with el almost any character. We've Dango to debuff. Oh, Hell Cleave said, "Let me finish feeding." No problem. Oh, figure to put out that final call. Yeah, I think I'll kill the first room of enemies just to get more PD chances. I was kind of laughing because I was doing some runs with Chris off stream and I was talking about how like, you know, like even though it's not an event, I'll still kill these enemies just for PD checks. And we got like, I think three PD, three PDs for me doing stupid checks in TTF. Like, I killed the Bartle room, for example. Both of us got PDs on different runs for me doing that. And then, um... What was the other stupid one? Oh, Slime Duping. I got, like, two PDs. So I think we got four PDs from Stupid Checks and CTF. So, so far, it pays off. I have been rewarded for making that decision, even though there are no rares I'm interested in. And it's not an event. Because I'm already capped on PDs again. I gave some to Hellcleave last stream, and we're overflowing again. Ooh, funky music. Castle mode intro. Nope, oh, Hellcleave has arrived. I mean, I was fully ready to S Blade chat, you have no idea. I've definitely done it before. There we go. I'm sure, Hellcleave would like bonus XP on the Fomarl anyway. I mean, it is human female, so he's getting the extra 2%. He's playing the meta right now. So yeah, I think I'm going to do the stupid check. Uncle, if you used to lure this room, I think they'll die almost instantly. I'm going to put down like two confused traps and then walk away. They do so much damage once they're confused. Yeah, case in point. I'm going to do the stupid check, and then we're going to move on. 
Sadly, the Talos die very quickly with Confuse, but not so much the other enemies. These guys can take a while. I'm done with the stupid check. Actually, there's one more thing I want to check. I've gotten box rares from this before with PDs. Oh, no PDs. So sad. My bad. <clears throat> we'll move on. Let the barbels fight each other. Not rewarded for the stupid check, sadly. Although with a full four-man team, I guess I only have time to do the first room successfully. So I'll keep that in mind. I'm used to two-manning it, where it definitely takes a while to clear the other room. I'm still gonna do the slime check though. I don't think it really loses that much time, if any. And if worse comes to worse, I just turn around and help deal with the other room. So there we go. Personal adjustment. Two man. I could do all three waves. Four man. I have enough time to do at least the barbels with Zalor. Just kind of clean up the confused trap enemies. Nice, did some damage. GG to the dragon here. Might as well as regen HP. Since I'll probably be tanking a couple hits in caves. Nice. Uh, there we go. Nice PD for Dango. Hellcleave's already in the next area, so let's be set up for, for uh, easy slime kills. Technically, I can also kill the lilies. Killing the lilies is a little greedy. I'm gonna two man. I'll think about it. Oop, they got pulled away from me. That's unfortunate. Got time to put some fire traps down. Uh, I'll go for a greedy killer. Oh, that was too early. Uh, I'm out of there then. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I actually froze all of them, I would have gone for it. Oh boy. Red Slicer, hold on. Oh, that's the first time I've ever found that rare. Thank you, team. I've always wanted to try it with Crimson Coat. Time to slime dupe a little bit. Oh, I'm just gonna spam fire trap. I'll let Hulkley move on ahead. Actually killed him. Sadly, no PDs. So, L Lily Clear is greedy. It goes fine if you have Freeze Trap. Because then you get special, special, special. And it's... it's pr it, That's a pretty fast clear, to be honest. But if you don't land it, you can't special, special, special. So you can't kill them all instantly. No iframes, that's so sad. Uh, I'm gonna re refrain from using my special. It'd be fun. It's the only one without invincibility, that's so sad. One day, chat. Okay, let's deal with the guild chicks. We've seen before, if these things get to the Lord, they die, like, instantly. It's kind of disgusting. But I could just finish them with a couple of discos, either way. Get my greed kills. Oh, that's actually a good amount of money. Let me pick that up. So yeah, so with, with a really powerful team, I only need to use my Jaya's charge at most twice to kill Worm Boss. So, feeling pretty good. Okay, 
Okay, might as well kill a couple while somebody goes in the next room. Oh, I got bucked. No, don't push me away. Oh, that's gonna cause me to miss time in this room. I was unlucky. Oh well, still killed them nearly instantly. So yeah, I'm gonna fo focus on the Barans. I'm not gonna try to run past them. Seriously? Oh, I'm so dead. Ah, uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do. Eye frames? Eye frames? There we go. Unfortunate. I see team went on without me. That's fine. That's fair. I did get I did get 100% stuck between three Sinnohs. That was most unfortunate. My mag invincibility kicked in though, so that was kind of nice. Freeze trap went off a little slower than I thought it would. So anyway, I'm gonna be spamming twin blaze here. Ooh, power material. I don't want that. Uh, I could slow down the initial. Yeah, let me slow down the initial one. I'm assuming Hell Cleaver somebody's gonna go for the Sunlock. Once I see somebody's hitting it, I'm just gonna not go for it. I'll switch back to Twin Blaze. So I'll shoot the monitor like twice and then I'll move away from it. Uh oh. Nobody's, uh. Nobody's, nobody, nobody's helping with that. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. I can't stun lock with solo red hand gun. There we go. There we go. Much better. Now to twin blazing. Nice. Nicely done. Back to Disco Bray Man. So if I don't get targeted, this boss should die nearly instantly. Especially now that this thing has machine percentage. Notice my damage has gone up very significantly. Case in point. Boss should be dead here. Yeah. So the boss is literally just six button presses for me in a uh, team comp game. Oh, another Reanoth. So we found earlier, I just need vices to kill this. I don't even need like a special gun or anything else for this. Delete that enemy instantly. Oops. The freeze there actually messed me up. That's fine though. I just want them to fight each other. Uh, I'm greedy for that XP. Look how much XP we get. Look at them, they're all like one touch from death. Pop. Take that XP. <laughs> okay, this should be a combo kill here. I just have to light heavy special and they should die. Yeah. Put down a freeze trap here, freeze trap here. Ooh, they went off too early. Unfortunate. And then we run out of the room. <laughs> oh, freeze trap, no! <laughs> I kept in the room longer. I'm like, run from the freeze trap, and it's betrayed me. So this character should level in one more TTF. Monolith, monolith indeed so yeah we'll do two more of these then we'll switch over to rt and i'll bring in my blue id character so if team wants to bring in some serious characters for that by all means no hope help man the counter to chris's half hope all right so let's pay attention a little bit and we should be fine through this yeah, and the secret is to just realize there's really big gaps in the spinners, and as long as you walk towards those gaps, generally you should never get hit. It's only a little risky, like, where I'm at currently, where they're kind of changing directions. So as long as you look for the gap, it should be good. Need to get kill a couple targets here. Rip Dango. I 
Alright, I'm not in a good position for the next phase. So hopefully I can correct this as I walk. I mean, I got a little further to the left, which is fine. I'm gonna make sure I'm not too far back. Switch device. It is crazy though, 50 hit vice. Only 82% chance of landing that second attack. So unfair. Oh, my items are all messed up. I'm gonna have to fix that later. I went to go switch to handgun, but handgun wasn't at the top of the list for some reason. I guess because I never sorted after I put it in my inventory. That took me by surprise. Normally I charge ray gun if it's gone by me. Ooh, I missed. It should be GG. Slightly mistimed that, so I didn't get full damage there. Switch to charge ray gun. Almost in Poe range. So close. Oh, it's dead. Pretty nice. Good job, team. I still love Chris's character not fitting in the box. Looks like Hellcleave is trying to dodge him as he's growing out of the box. It's Volcatron. GG. See any interesting items here? He's too powerful to be contained. So it's the level 200 upgrade. Okay, so let's see. Let's sort our inventory, because our inventory is like unmanageable nonsense right now. I think I want it so that this is at the top. Yeah, I want charge ray gun at the top. All the other ones I don't care about. Uh, sure. Yeah, if you got them, let me know how much they are, Hellcleave. I'll just pay for it. Way red slicer once we identify it. I do want to try this at some point because I do sometimes use crimson coat on other characters. It's not going to be as strong as like Disco Brave Man specials, but I still find it kind of an interesting weapon. Five is the lowest they go for. I'll give you six. <laughs> Gotta put this away first though. Or LNK combat left on the floor. This away. Okay. Boom. There we go. This is Chris's caliber over here. I'll circle for Chris. Ooh, random guns. Oh wow, 50 hits? It's a big upgrade. Oh, only 30 hit. Oh, I was gonna say that would have been a huge upgrade. Yeah, the others are kind of nice though. Yeah, that is, that is a shame. It's close. It's not bad. I'll think about it. That poor LNK combat, unloved. Yeah, Machine Dark is pretty strong. I mean, at least Handgun has some ATP behind it, unlike Vulcans. But like 50% there is still like another 80 ATP or so. It's not insignificant. I mean, we put on offensive armor for as low as 35, so... Okay, another one. 
So yeah, should level on this one. Yeah, there we go. So if I store it with Charge Ray Gun held, it leaves it at the top of the list, which is perfect. So that means if I swap into Vice, I could quickly go back to Charge Ray Gun when I'm in like a serious run. I very rarely bother manipulating the equipment order, but I do on this character. Because most of the time I just use one gun almost the whole way through, maybe two. And normally it's like pretty obvious where it is, but when it's like, it was at the bottom of the list, it was basically unattainable. So I just have to make sure not to sword for the rest of the run. Dango a moment. Let's see. Ooh, Max Synchro's down to 100%. Yeah, we gotta fix that. Alright, so first room with Zalor is not greedy. I feel like it's just five free kills, and it lets me do the box check. And that box check can have PDs, as we've seen more off stream than on stream. So we'll just increase our odds of rolling a PD. The five vice into a confused trap into Disco Brave Man. I think that should be good. I'm gonna just go ahead and delete this enemy. Put down the confused trap, switch to Disco Brave Man. Check the boxes while people are here. Nothing here. Yeah, let's move on from this enemy, I think. That way I'm not holding up the team. Although I can get a free vice on this target. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's about the right timing. Low and sword dropped. Interesting. Yeah, it's hopefully usually buffs here. So as long as I'm in time for the buffs, that's fun. So I get to do five box checks and six extra enemy kills. Not bad. That's more useful definitely when there's actual rares on those enemies, but it's nice to have that in the back pocket. So yeah, this character should level by cave boss clear. <laughs> so much damage on the poor dragon. The Fomoral whipping out her, her high hit Vulcans, being like, uh uh uh. No survival for you. Let the team pop those boxes, I'm not a box clear. Let's go spawn the enemy for the team. Hmm. It's gonna be a little hard to do unless it pulls towards me a little more. Maybe? Okay. I was worried I was too close to its kill, its spawn point. Now I can just fire trap its spawn point. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll do one greedy clear here with Discover Eight Man. Now I got it. Yeah, with with freeze, that's just a free clear. There's no reason for me to not do that. Seal chase sword found. Wow. So yeah, I'm basically back in time for the same wave as before. So we'll put down a happy little freeze trap for the team there. So yeah, if I get that freeze trap there, it's worth killing the lilies for sure. One, two, three, spam fire trap. Oh, Dragon Slayer, I heard the rare sound, I got excited. Sadly not worth it.
Nice, invincibility. Oh yeah, I should feed it soul atomizer. So Worm Boss will level me. Power me up more. And invincibility, nice. Look at that damage dealt. GG. Disgusting. Come on, level up. I only need 13,000 experience. This should be easy. Nice. Extra ATP. It's fine. Now 1429. Pretty solid. Definitely confused trap time. Even without Zalora, they die so fast. I mean, look at that. There was like four free kills, and I'm still with the team. Hopefully this time I don't get tripped on the cannabin, because that messed up my whole cycle into the other room. I guess I'll actually freeze trap this. Make sure the one that's behind me doesn't teleport on me or something dumb. That happened last time. Speaking of what happened last time, go away. Okay, so we're gonna try to time a freeze trap here. That was an enemy deletion. <laughs> Operation Protect Chris, there we go. Let's just go for Twin Blaze this time. It's even more ATP to use with Twin Blaze. Oh, I got shot. Don't mind me, just mag feeding mid boss fight. Gotta up my synchro a little bit. Whew. That damage is something else. Mine material, escape dolls. I probably want some of those. So far, soundtrack's been pretty good. Goodbye, Darkbringer. You know what? I'll confuse trap them. Maybe, maybe we'll get a cheeky kill. Oh, we did. I'm gonna go ahead and just not free trap them. I want them to be confused and fighting each other. Oh, frozen in a way that I can't hit them. Unfortunate. Well, two of the Arlins died for free. I'll take that. Yeah, I like killing those Arlins on Red ID in particular, since they drop uh, actually useful rares. Sky ID, they don't drop anything, I don't think. So put a Freeze Trap here, and then put another one here, maybe?
And I'm out of there. There we go. Now my charge ray gun is easy to get to. That's what I want. Perfect. Remote battery saying, started using Joy Decay after watching your video last night. Totally game changer. I'm glad that it helped. Being able to program the 0 to 9 in particular is a big upgrade, especially if you're playing Force. What a lifesaver having some of that stuff on demand. Now granted, there's still reasons to use the technique menu and stuff like that, but having instant access to fluids or healing, I think are really crucial to put some of those on the bar. And not needing to menu for things like shift to D-band is also important. Those you don't need to worry about. Putting in the quick menu, for example. But even just like a, a cast being able to have like three different healing items, plus soul atomizer, plus moon, plus traps. It's just like a really easy way to use it. Just like the team, the speed at which that you're able to use them compared to like menuing through potentially multiple items is just so good. Especially if you accidentally don't sort, like you run out of healing and pick up another item. It just avoids like any of those kind of like fringe case scenarios. It's a big quality of life change. Glad it's been working for you. Hopefully you're doing well, Remote Battery. I saw my mech gun bullet come from the side there. So now, for example, what I was talking about before is that I don't have a lot of time to menu to get to my charge handgun, so I wanted that at the top of my menu. So the time it takes me to press this and swap, I want to be lined up with the boss. So like, that's damage I won't get if I'm menuing any differently. Oh, I got hit. Uh, Die Maiden Prey, I think. Well, that was big damage. Doing great, only should have to figure out how to put on 9 and 0, reserved to putting Star Items on Telepipe. Uh, depends on the character. Casts don't need, like, a whole bunch of things. Like, as I said before, three major healing, moon, soul, traps. It's probably good enough. I wouldn't worry about it too much. There we go, that was a slightly better cycle towards the boss. Forces and all the cast, all, all the human characters have, like, a million buttons they could put there that would help. If you could have put weapons on that slot, it would they would have been so overpowered. Oh, sorry about that. I missed one of my charge shots. 96%, please. <laughs> Where where's my four where was my four percent accuracy? So sorry, Chad, it whiffed. I tried. Oh. Uh maybe I survive? Heck yeah. Did you feel that commitment? I just charged ray gun. I'm like, I'm nowhere near the team. Let's go. Just did a thousand of myself twice. Don't mind me. Take that, falls. Hellcleave refusing to look at me, though. I wronged Hellcleave, apparently. <laughs> Dango flexing on him. No red ring, sadly. Did you get PD'd? Getting PD'd on falls is the worst. Let's feed more soul atomizers. He got PD'd. Oof. Even with the slightly different rare sound, it's still brutal every time. So I spent 19,000, I gained back 20,000. Ooh. So a small, small cash upgrade. So we'll do one more TTF and then we'll give Chris an RT, so I won't keep him up too late. His RT is gonna be like 25 minutes. Easy. That cutscene takes forever to end.
Little Murphy. So one more and then I'll switch into my blue ID Hunu rule. Oh, it's a flowing sword with no stats of interest. Goodbye. Dango hitting 196, congratulations. Got like five PDs this session. I'm telling you, stupid stupid checks lead to stupid PDs. I don't this every time. Every time it seems like it would be a waste of time, someone usually gets a PD. It's very silly. Between the boxes and everything else. Very funny. I got I got baited with one of them. I got Dragon Slayer instead of the PD. Hopefully this run I'll get one from the stupid check. It's only like 1 in 500 or worse, so... <laughs> Just gotta do enough stupid checks and you get rewarded. Yeah, sadly I don't think Sky ID Forest has any interesting forest boxes. Oh, nice box check. Appreciate it. Saves me some time. And I could just do this. I missed the special. That was awkward. Okay, that was a very fast room clear. Oh, I can help the team sort of with the next wave, maybe. Never mind, they're too fast. I tried. See that? I participated. <laughs> So what happens when you have one and a half rangers and two hunters? Something like that. Elk leave with his uh, mech guns, honorary ranger. Oh, I almost got it. It's close. <laughs> Four dragon balls. <laughs> <laughs> How is it going to survive this much raw ATP? <laughs> just, just a GG, I guess. Oops, I did not run the right way. I don't see any interesting box rares. We'll move forward. No PDs, no materials. So we'll do one final run with Chris on RT, and then we'll see what Chad is in the mood for. Ooh, interesting slime placement. One, two, three. Slime dupe in time. I mean, technically I could just bomb their spawn point now if I want to. Something like this. I believe that's not too early. Eh, close enough. Three of the four ATP classes, exactly. I'm gonna take a safety try made here, in case I get clipped by something stupid. I'm almost in time to do slime checks. I'm like a little slower. I unfortunately uh, whiffed on a couple of the lilies, so I had to do one more combo than I normally do. If I crit them, I kill them in just two hits, which is very funny. Anyway, it's duping time. Wow, this slime actually hit me. Oh, because it was, it spotted Hell Cleave earlier. I was like, how did that happen? No materials from that either. That's a heartbreaker, actually. Oh, well.
Nice, invincibility. Poor, poor worm balls. Just getting absolutely bullied. Look how much damage they do to each other. Let's help you going back for a PD. If so, that's pretty funny. Yeah, there we go. See, stupid checks? There we go. I love doing that check. It's so dumb. You just, like, double confuse trap. Just arbitrarily, it's just free PD chances. You don't even really lose time unless you want to clean them all up. Such a free check. I'm gonna teach people to do that more often, unless we're going for the min clear or something. The only thing we have to do is be careful, we have to potentially protect Hellcleave. Ooh. Speaking of protect, I'd like to get through this doorway, please. Thank you. Might be better for Hellcleave to teleport towards us, we'll see. Rip Hellcleave. I'll go back for Hellcleave. Yeah. How did that not die? So sad. Well done, drop. Nice. Anyway, back to Twin Blazon. be targetable eventually. There we go. Nice and simple. I do like Dango's weapon kind of matches his outfit. It's going coordinated. Just, just hashtag you cast things. I think I really want another skip doll, that's fun. That feeling when you kill a boss with six attacks. It's like Oga Flow, only we weren't even that super buffed. Oops, wrong in a minute. Sure, fight each other, why not? Amuse me. Make Confuse Trap again here, walk by them. Kill the one that's fighting Chris, watch as the other ones die and give us more chances. Oh, we're on level 29. Nice, box chat. Let Chris handle the other enemy. I'm gonna move in position for the Indie Boa. Oh, uh, without a crit I can't kill. So I can normal heavy special to kill there if I want to. 
putting down as many freeze traps as possible to deal with the Deldies. Honestly, I don't even care about freezing the sorcerers, just making sure the other enemies don't reach me. Off by 3 HP. That's so sad. Denied chat. If only if only the Hugh Cast had more ATP, then that would have combo killed. If only chat. <laughs> well, time to spear some weapons. Is that a monolith? It is a monolith. The funny thing is I think the cooldown of that is exactly about when we do another monolith run anyway. I think it's like 10 minutes or something. Then we'll do an RT and then we'll see who wants to hop in. Yeah, it won't be on for super long, it's just a bonus stream. Ooh, I had some really bad movement there. I deserve to take way more damage than I did. Oh, there's nothing on my side to shoot. most of the stuff on my side. Ooh, we're off by two, I think. One, two. Yeah. Look at that chat. I'm learning to count when I do this too. So I'm not surprised when the boss goes to the next phase. I just look at the map to determine the pattern. Oops, bad Amy. Alright, so now I'm gonna switch into Raygun. Which I manipulated to be at the top of the list. Might be able to get two shots off. If I'm lucky. <sighs> Almost. I should have just said normal, normal. Oh. Oh. Slightly too slow. Nice. No, not the ghost. Yeah, if I go at the extreme edge of the mech gun, for those that aren't aware, you can get a triple hit. You have to- you physically have to fire- how am I not targeting? What? I was like one pixel off? That sucks. You have to go to like the extreme edge of the visual indicator to the point where I have to pre-shoot. So if you're wondering why if you're playing mech gun versus falls, you have to shoot before you see it physically appear if you want the full combo. Otherwise you're like just slightly too short. So that, that let me squeeze out a ton of extra damage because being able to land three Vulcan shots that are heavies is kind of huge. Me missing that is bad because that's usually like 1,200 or so damage. Uh, no red ring yet. So let's just go over to RT. Pop some boxes. If there's people waiting to hop in, let us know. Jalandra has found one. Oh no. Mono mate, we'll take those. That's mean. <laughs> Close. I also need to hit it on the first hit. It's not too bad on the third one. I normally do normal heavy heavy. I don't go for the sacrifice. When I've charged Raygun, I'll go for it. So it's like, yeah. I just I just play it safe. It does a lot of damage. Let's do C bank one. I think once I have a proper red ring, I think I'll sacrifice a bit more on that final phase. I just know with Charge Raygun, I have exactly enough to not miss without it. If I didn't have the Accuracy Booster, I wouldn't hit it all, for sure. That 15 Accuracy from the Shield makes a big difference on the boss clear. Because otherwise I'd have like barely a 60% chance, maybe worse, of second hit heavies for most of those phases. And that'd feel pretty bad. Murphy's up to joining, just swapping a couple items. 
Sure thing. I know Chris is going to be stepping out right after this one, so you are more than welcome to take his place full time. Right after this one. Or if Hellcleave wants to do something else, that's up to Hellcleave. Oh, Hellcleave is offering its spawn. Well, this character is female, so we're going to get the bonus. Oh no, I think Chris crashed the green. No. Oh, he loaded. <laughs> Oof. 25 hit Disco Brain Man. Do I really not have better? Shit on her, yeah. Do this. Take that other one out of there. mag looking max oh not even close let's fix that in this run okay so wait on Murphy and after that I don't know we could do three more RTs or we could do like five TTFs I'll leave it up to chat or a mix of both I'm thinking we'll do at least one more RT specifically for Dango Start it. We go. Call your shot PD on flow, damn. The intense call out. Better do the flips. There we go. Time for some respected tomorrow. Yeah, rare item week is normally... Like, if I'm going to do a bonus stream, it's probably going to be on that week, because I'm not looking to level characters at this point. And to figure out what weapons you're missing, no problem. Second last swallow? Yes, that's fine. Still, five few casts and sooner or later, the blue rocket seal will be so low, anyways. Interesting. I was gonna say, one of these buttons is my soul atomizer. There we go. I'm gonna go for the box check. Good luck, team, with the other checks. Although, I think we saw that, uh, what was it, yellow ID had some crazy box checks here. Like, Yellow ID's hunts here are not, like, the craziest, but the, the things they could get in the boxes here are very dumb. On a grinder, sure.
was a little early on the fireball. This should be good though. Yeah, this character I have to think about if she should have the dark flow. Or just I mean, does my Hugh Cast even need one? I mean, like honest question. <laughs> I mean, he seems to delete every enemy with Vulcan already. Like, is it really gonna save me any time? At least with the other characters, it's like, it does feel like I do, like, just barely not enough. Where, like, the damage makes a difference. I mean, I guess if I had, like, a dark blow, dark percentage one, maybe that would help me with one of the phases. But honestly, it's more about accuracy with him. Which is not any surprise, but... <sighs> the moment where you go to attack and you pick up Masetta. So brutal. See, I'm happy we ended up seeing a lot of uh, Holiday Rappies. That's probably the most Holiday Rappies I have ever seen in any event. I usually don't even get one, despite running, like, episode 2 quests. I think we got really lucky to see them. Especially since there's not even, like, a ton of Rappies in this kind of quest, either. And it's not like I was resetting, like, House Clock Tower. Which I did, I think, last time to see one. Goodbye, Lily. Whatever quests we're on at 4 o'clock, that'll be our cutoff point for clarity. So we still got some time. But if it runs a little late, it's not the end of the world. I just need to make sure that I, I'm, I'm making food or something before 5. Hello, Barbara. There we go. I did some physical damage to the boss. That's always nice. So we're gonna hide in the corner, aim in the middle. That should be good enough. I mean, I feel like this just kind of lines me up with the thing that paralyzes me every time. As long as I'm just like vaguely looking in that direction, it should be good. Because I feel like when I stand in other parts of the raft, I always get hit. And here I just flip what side I'm standing on. So if it did charge at me, I would have shot it there. Okay, I got one extra hit on the boss. That's not too bad. This boss is so glitchy. Look at him go. Yeah, he's supposed to be above the water for us to hit, by the way, but he just glitches underwater randomly for no reason. Oh, I forgot to switch to Jaya, but that's fun. I think I did enough damage single target. I did, I did about 4,000 to it between the different bases. Not like the best ever, but at least it was something. Because I, I popped open a shell for me to hit, and then I destroyed it from there. Ooh, I don't like my angle. Hmm. Might be worth correcting this one. Yeah, I don't like my angle. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Rip Chris, he's on the wrong side. Yeah, there we go. That was a good correction. Last second correction paid off. That looked dead center.
I mean, I could probably kunai that thing up there if I really need to. I guess I should just wear kunai here. My material, eh. Killed it with kunai. Did a chat. <sighs> Try going for a clever, clever shot there. Too clever though. I didn't realize how slow that spawn was. Should be able to last swan this. Perfect. Nice and simple clears. Switch to my charge Vulcan. Hopefully feed my mag and not get completely devastated by this bad synchro. Oof. Devastated. I tried. I tried to show it love. It did not show love in return. I gotta wait this out or I'm gonna take too much damage. I think as you learned earlier, it's better for me to just take this damage to build meter. So close. I'm gonna take the damage again. Yeah. Rip Dango. So that way I just have more meter for the uh, final fight. So that's like 8% meter I don't have to build now. Chat checked all the weapons. Just armor, right? Yeah, that's armor. So I need to get to like 60-ish meter. So good thing I built up that extra 8 from getting hit. I think that was worth it. Give Dango a little mini buff for now. Yeah, with like a with a like a raw cast, I'm not gonna be building as much meter on most things since they'll be dead before I deal with them. I'm gonna take the meter where I can, which is on the geese. Jaya with no hit, that's sad. I was gonna say, Shadow was very glitchy. I got confused where it was for a second. There we go. Perfect, I'm almost at 60 meter. So our goal is to build as much meter as possible. I'm almost at 60, which is huge. So I'm almost at my target goal. Being around like 64-ish. We haven't even gone to the next room yet. 
perfect. So I'll probably do the health leave check. Give the team more opportunity to build meter. Give this thing more souls. Oh, Murphy's here. Nice freeze. Nice freeze. So I'm exactly where I want to be, and team's already clearing the other stuff. 50 hit club, that's a shame. Meantime, we're just doing happy beach murder. Five meter, pretty good. Yeah, we're not gonna compete with the raw cast. Yeah, I think because I didn't use um, Gaia to swing at the worm boss, I got a lot less meter than I normally do, which is fair. But I made up for it in the other room. So I guess that's the strategy. <laughs> if you're playing like Humar, Ramar, just trying to get a little extra meter for the boss. Let's get it by the dragon. Seems effective. Like turn to the right. So I could probably do like 400 damage to this. I'm not going to do a lot here. Murphy's like, it's what I do. Mm. It's good for forest for sure. Normally I'm like so low HP that I'm scared to get double hit. Uh, I did like 300. That's about as much as I would expect to get. I feel like he's looking at me. He was. <laughs> you know what? I'm throwing kunai at you, and there's nothing you could do about it. Other than throw more tornadoes at me, I guess. Alright, I'm feeling a little targeted. Can we just agree? I'm getting hard targeted here. Holy, there he messed with my camera. That was rude. That was really unfortunate. Oh. I don't get knocked down. Oh, because he got gelined. Oh. Yeah, don't gel at him. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a minute. Normally that knocks me down. Wait a minute. Gelin trolled. I think, weirdly, that's one of the attacks that is not set damage. It's like the only one that makes sense in the whole list. Galgriffin wing, nice. On the plus side, I no longer have any meter concerns. Downside, my mag synchro is awful again. Due to dying twice, it basically undid all my progress. Oof, yeah, I, I lost all of it. That sucks. Still have a million escape dolls. Yeah, so here I could speed things up by just using charge. I think I will. Nice. There we go. Just spam freeze, it'll work. deal with that because he's got hell. Bowie. Oh, Yunshine. Nice. I'm already at 95 meter, which is huge. 96. Guess I can pick up another escape doll. I at least want to get back up to like 50% by the end of the run. I think I could do that. So we'll let the team handle those two. 
Oops. Wrong attack order. Griffy going in. Griffin's got it out for me a little bit, actually. Yeah, the downside is that uh, there are a couple enemies in the game where if you have too high HP, you will just die to charge attacks instantly. Dorfon is one of them. Gal Griffin is another. I don't like that that is there. Put a little fireball here. Nicely done. The team cleaned those up. I got scared to press the button for a second because I was like, man, I mag blessed already. I don't want to accidentally use it while trying to spell. I can freeze through here to hit the target. So that's what I was talking about before. Like, if you if you do the same thing that I do entering this room every time, that robot will always be on the other side of the column, unable to hit you, and will always be in Rebarda range. That's my little fun tech tip for people playing Hugh Neural. So I, I could get one freeze chance completely for free on that enemy, and I got it, so I'm happy. So I'm like, there's no timing involved. I just know by the time I kill the Rico box, it will always be there. Just like this one never spawns anything, so I can kind of abuse this while the team kills everything else. So I don't have to worry about, like, whiffing or something awkward. We'll let the team kill the Morpho since they have Hell. I could, in theory, bring Hell for this run. I just don't want to. Like, it would save... T like, if nobody brought it, it would be really bad, but I, I don't think we really need two people with Hell. Or more than two people, I mean. Murphy's the honorary hell user. He's got nothing better to do as the force. It's not gonna, I guess he could Excal a couple of things, but... It's kind of like, eh. Ooh, power material. Right, that's the first time this room has sort of paid off. But I can't equip it. Mm, too many skip dolls. We'll put away some in the bank later, so I'm, I know I have to go back regardless. Getting close to me mag feeding again, which is nice. Okay, I want to make sure not to get too far ahead of the group. There we go. I think Murphy's looking for the item that was in the box room. Did not want to get hit by that. That's actually really bad. Uh, if I'm good, I can stun him here. A little further forward. There we go. Even though he was invisible, he still died. <laughs> That's all that matters. So now if the team doesn't have meter, they'll just walk into it repeatedly. So I definitely went charge Vulcan for the boss. So I think if Chris Heaven Strikers, if he's special, special, specials, and has Vulcan in a way he could equip it quickly, I think he could delete this boss pretty well. It unfortunately does need a little bit of a hit percentage for raw cast, but if it lands, it lands. I'm gonna say using twins. So again, this is pretty much on par with the team using Hell, and the difference is that we're not just waiting around. We're just doing stuff the whole time. And that was with extra checks. That was kind of nice. Because I built up meter early, that would give me permission to use hell to speed up the run if I wanted to optimize it. So yeah, so Chris is basically going to do the triple shot, then he's going to quickly swap into charge Vulcan or whatever his boss kill thing is. Whatever he normally uses. And then uh, boss should hopefully die but it's also dependent on landing shots which is rough murphy's going to be able to zalore it from heaven so it won't be on screen but it's going to be zalored almost 
I think I missed my specials to some extent, which is unfortunate. I clipped him a little bit with the mech gun there. I, I should have probably swamped to last one when I realized I missed, but it's fun. It saves me swapping in this equipment menu, I guess. So player one has to deal with this or it takes forever. The rest of the team could just remain close. They can pretty much just walk up to the boss. I just have the misfortune of starting kind of far away. So sometimes I let the orb come a little closer. So as long as we don't strike it before it looks around, this should just be GG. I don't see a world in which this doesn't get combo killed. GG. So much damage. And up to heaven you go. So this is Chris's RT chance for the day. Oh no, I'm a ghost. Trials lives on. <laughs> Dead already? Murphy's pointing like there. There's the parasitic gene flow for the team. And Dago's like, what are you talking about? It's a PD. You could tell. He's got that look on him. Got money. We know miser time. Gotta fix that synchro slowly. <laughs> I flopped into the spawn point. <laughs> Something else. Oops, I did not mean to talk to you twice. Yeah, I got something to, to upgrade my computer later. I think one part of it is just kind of, uh, needs to be replaced. Because I've noticed a couple of stutters here and there. <clears throat> I think it's just because I've been running it for so long. Gotta update it a little. It should be fine. Put away most of my escape dolls. Jaya. We will not be picking that up. Thank you for joining us today, Chris. Hopefully you get some rest. You can sleep in. No Phoenix Ray. Okay. So we could do a few more of these. The Unchang did have it. Oh, that's good. That's a fun weapon to get with hit percentage. <laughs> Hellcleave is on standby. Deploy Hellcleave. Well, I guess we'll do more. But let us know if there's anybody in the chat that's waiting to join a game. We won't be doing many games today. But, we'll see what we can get. has arrived. Game crashed when you tried to close it. It didn't compute. It's like, wait, Yun Chang with hit? Oh, that's a glitch. Just ended the game right there. Feels nice to find a Lake Excalibur. Nice, nice. It's definitely one of those game-changing items. PSO decides when you're done. You don't decide when PSO. It's over. Love that normal, normal, normal can kill that enemy. Box check.
<laughs> Two people in chat going back. Must have been something good. Box check. Nothing of interest, sadly. Oops. Thought it, would... Thought it was a little outside the radius. That's fine. You need like 600 of those. Yeah, I, th I think I'm literally sitting on like 400. So if you're really desperate, Murphy. <laughs> they, they've just been accumulated in mass. I think I have four character banks of 99 and somebody's holding 99. And my share bank is 99. Although I think it, maybe one of those sets has been used because it did make a four semi recently out of the blue. So maybe I only have three sets of 99 plus share bank. Yeah. There's so many. Ooh, do I really want to go back for that Jelen? I don't think I do. But oh yeah, this is kind of my celebration for being done with the guide and the Excel. The company Excel. So people have suggestions for what they want to see in that little equivalency of Excel slash spreadsheet. Let me know. Yeah, I have like a tab specifically for like PC friendly versus like mobile friendly. So mobile just condenses the columns. PC is more information. Maybe I'll make a can make another page where it's just like all potential boosts possible. If you're curious, the impact of the rares. Yeah. Potentially that could be good. I know some people want to see the difference of like HBR, for example, or HBR plus bonus. Because there's a lot of runs where that actually doesn't make a big impact due to things like drop rate being nearly maxed. So having like 150% drop rate doesn't help on some runs. Like, the 25% might, but the 50% won't. The people who really just want to see the actual differences, it's there. One thing I thought was funny is when I was doing the fraction math, it actually doesn't match what's on the website, but I know it has to be correct, because I don't round it at all. So I guess the website slightly rounds. Oh, my monster reader broke. That's unfortunate. I can tell because the game lagged. <laughs> that is really unfortunate. Well, back to remembering what percentages are valid. Yeah, so I think what's happening there is because like if you're if you're on the far side, it's basically impossible to hit the paralysis ray. So I'm just watching the team get bodied by it. <laughs> just like, yeah, that'll happen. If the bazooka isn't lined up with it, it's not gonna happen. Ooh, lots of free shots here. That's nice. I'll use Jaya here since I can't see its HP. That should do it. I got a solid, like, 5,000 across the different parts, GG. Yeah, so at least they... I guess they changed it in a way that at least if it crashes the reader, it doesn't crash the game. Because originally that would also crash the game. Ooh, I don't like my lineup position. There we go. Ooh. 
<laughs> Team has formed the cluster for the lineup in Olympics. Ooh, I accidentally rusted. That is not good. Ooh. Get like one more chance to fix it. Ooh, not liking this. I'll go with this. I mean, I lined up, but it costs me some time still, sadly. So I definitely came in last place there. Huh? Why is there... Why is there Bomberman Silent Hill? What? My brain is hurting. <laughs> what? That's not a crossover I would have thought. That was definitely the Silent Hill theme. The more you know, I guess. Funk. I love Kunai. There we go, I hit it with the Kunai. The newer game my character is like Pyramid Head and Nurses, really? I did not know. I just heard it and I was like, yeah, this is definitely Silent Hill. Got it through the wall. Thank you, Kunai. Telling you, Chad, this is definitely my new favorite weapon. Utility. Switches. Hmm. Does everything I want in one weapon swap. Oh, luck material. Wait a minute, I should go back for that. That that's like actually important to go back for. Feed my mag, fix synchro. Nope, not yet. <sighs> no invincibility again. This is so painful. My synchro's not even that bad. It's like almost 60% now. I should at least be at like 60% like invincibility. Not 80. 80's both max, but. I'm definitely losing a lot of coin tosses here. So unfortunate. Trip Murphy. Right, I'm gonna get hit on purpose for sure here. There we go. Extra meter. Yeah, I like the accuracy reader because I play so many different characters. I really do not want to memorize their accepted percentages. I really don't. And even then, you can only make like educated guesses unless you really sit there with the calculator. You're like, oh, I hit this most of the time, or I hit this some of the time. But at least I know my combo for these things. So I know not to n normal heavy heavy. I have to normal normal heavy for sure here. Oh, there they are. Seriously? 
There we go. Perfect. That was a little greedy of me. I shouldn't have done that. I was gonna say, if they, if they don't spawn in the middle, I know there's two down here I gotta kill. That much I can remember, even without the monster reader. Perfect, already at 62. Oh, I want that power material later. I'll pick that up. Perfect. 64 meter. I'm gonna go get this power material while I can still collect it. Team will kill those two. Then I just need to wait near here. And there should be like a group of four, I think. Come like over here a bit more. Gonna say, I know there's one over here. <laughs> I was like, I'm backing up just so to make sure I could see it. There we go. Perfect. So Cleave is gonna do the Hell Cleave check. One day that will drop a V501 for us. That would be nice. It's already at 67 meter. That's pretty significant. Nice. Escape doll. I guess I can pick it up. I mean, if I'm going to do a lot of episode two, I should probably collect a lot of them. Damn, when normal, normal heavy doesn't kill. Nice. It really is just failing to kill. That's so sad. And I know my accuracy is not good enough to special attack there. Oh, you okay there, computer? Yeah, 73 meter at this point. That's huge. Switch to Kunai just for free chip damage. 300 is better than zero. To look at another, another soundtrack after this. I did like 400 again. Again, better than nothing. <laughs> I'm going in blind as to the boss health total. That's always fun. Oh, I clipped it for 128 there, I think. Let's back up slightly and then Vulcan. Camera, please. Oh. Uh, that's annoying. I mean, in a way, he helped me get meter, but... interest there. I think that's armor. Oh no, those are weapons. Oh, so it's the inverse of the other one. Got it. Alright, so I gotta get 15 meter between now and the end. It's not too bad. I can do that. <laughs> Helps when you get hit in the face. There we go. Five vanilla disco, oof. 67% is not too bad. Look, material, I probably want that. Oh, 
I almost, I almost killed with my Rebarda. It was close. Oh, see, that time I could have run past it. Damn. Oh well, now I will. <laughs> I'm like, bye. Not interested in that room. Rebarda, or Rufoe the room, I mean. Nice, spill meter. 45 hit striker, oop. Vanilla. Where are my specials at? character should be pretty close to leveling. Then I'm gonna have to look up another soundtrack, I think, once we're done with the boss. Just to take us that last half hour or so. Maybe we'll do one more RT in TTTF. I think that should time out nicely. As long as we keep it consistent here, we don't have to see where they spawn. Just have to kill this, and then I can Rebarda right about now. Oh. Just chasing somebody else. Almost missed my chance to Rebarda it. There we go, nice and simple. Yeah, 67% synchro, slowly recovering. I think I can actually heavy special special the boxes pretty consistently. Remember, their accuracy, their evade is pretty terrible. Hmm. This should be fun. How did I hit that? Let's help the team out a little there. Okay, so we'll do a box check. Nothing of interest. GG to these enemies. These, not too bad. Minus five, oof. Okay, we gotta go off of feeling where the enemy is. I think that's close enough. Nice. Gut feeling, no enemy reader. <laughs> no, nothing on the minimap. Just how much do I memorize the right spot to stand to shoot that robot? Shooting too early doesn't do anything. Could have taken like maybe half a step forward for more shots, but I think it was good there. Oops, double angel. Rip. I mean, we got here faster, but at what cost?
Okay, so let's come over here. This is gonna be real fun figuring out HP totals here. for PGF chance. Ah, oh. it. Oh, stop moving so much. There we go. Rip Dango. <laughs> On my screen, he's only got level 30 buffs. I'm assuming he does have real buffs, though. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, most of the characters I'm looking to have Red Ring played as them today. Although sadly, it's just gonna be a lot of the same runs over and over. That's why we have that other stream where we did stuff other than TTF Red Ring. There we go, they're still pretty quick. I saw the boss get hit and I was like, does that count? I honestly wasn't sure. Yo, it's caused the cataclysm, maybe. Bomberman Land. Uh, well, that'll be our next soundtrack. Nice level up. Oh, it's for Castlevania. I was like, wait a minute. Three percent synchro. So one less RT and one less TTF. Yeah, two left materials out of that's pretty solid. I'll take that. This character getting ever closer to leveling. Sadly, I don't think they'll level in this one. Even if I get the ball skills. Oh no, you can't synchro summon. If only you're using Funer Monsters. Final RT of the day, at least for me. There is such a backlog of PSO videos. I have no idea when this is going to come up, to be honest with you. It's probably going to be like right at the end of May, instead of like the beginning. Because <clears throat> we're uploading other things. And plus we still got to put the guide, and the guide is going to interrupt the normal videos. Because I think the guide is more important to get out there when it's ready. In the description, join the anniversary in two weeks. I don't think it'll be that delayed. It'll be all out before July. Oh, 
Oh no. Yeah, that's that's a fall event. It's usually August, September. It is the the last few months of the year are just like back to back events. It's kind of insane. Then there's like literally nothing <laughs> June and July. Before the great event dump occurs. So I'll probably have another big vacation around that time, although I want like a real vacation. This is it before? I did take a couple days off of streaming. Probably not as noticeable on YouTube, given that uh, I had so many things when we did the bonus sessions that it just kind of filled in days I didn't stream. Bowie time. Yeah, aside from the guides, I don't think I have any streaming planned for this in the future. This is just kind of my celebration for being done. After that, I'm not as interested. I'll probably take like a three week break from it. Unless I'm playing with like people during lunch break because I'm bored. Nice spot on draw. rid of these. Get those. Devil technique. Oh, that reminds me. I added, uh, I added Disgaea to the series for the voting. Uh, if people want to see that, feel free to vote for it. Generally speaking, whatever like the second place or third place games are, usually they get filled in. And then if I can't do a third place game, for example, that ends up being moved to the next poll. I haven't decided what I'm going to stream on my birthday yet, though, if anything. Well, birthday week is more accurate. <laughs> Might just be Sengoku Pissara, to be honest, but it'll be like the fourth game. Maybe I'll show off some stupid infinite combos. Probably should have quit and come back to get my uh, accuracy reader back. That's fine. I'll just believe in the chat. I mean, fortunately, I don't think I need it because I played the characters today, so I vaguely remember the percentages. So I guess I don't have to reset it. As long as I don't pick anybody else other than this character in the Hue cast, I think I'll be okay. Straight hits. Did some real damage to the boss. Heal the team, hide in the corner, aim at the paralysis thing. If I had like a bigger nuke weapon, that'd be useful. There we go. See, that time I was, even with just the pistol, I was lined up to hit it pretty well. 
But it is so easy with like Bazooka or even Shotgun, honestly. You got good timing. Bitch teleport. Bitch. Oh, normal. Yeah, I pop one of the cores. So we get some pretty big damage here, guaranteed. Rip Murphy. I did revive him last second, though. Gotta give him that XP. Hmm. Almost like that angle. Ooh, that felt really good. Murphy all by himself over there. Hmm. Don't know if I like Dang Dango's angle. It looks like he's facing to the left. I think he's gonna end up hitting a wall. I think I'm like dead centered. We'll see though. It depends on how Dango disembarks. Ooh, even I was a little off. I didn't believe. Sure, I'm just gonna guess the hit percentage is Okunai. I'm like, why not? I'm not swapping weapons for one enemy. Wait. Is this Suikoden? It is Suikoden. It is just like all Konami game soundtracks. I think that was the Suikoden 2 battle theme. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I recognize this. Yeah, that right there in particular is definitely sweet it in. Called like the will to live or something. Or will will to win, not live. Yeah, that should get it. Yeah, that spread shot makes it so easy to land. Let's see, what is this called? Will to win. Checks out. Oh, that's true. At some point I should do uh Eudig Chronicles. That'll probably be the next next game that we play. Channel choose one and then I'll probably pick that one. Because Legend of Mana should be done, so that'll be the chat selected game, and then Wild Arms. Think about it. I'm gonna take a break to do Eudin Chronicles. So I think the game is mostly stabilized at least. <laughs> and this music feels appropriate for fighting Garans. The sheer panic phase of it. Come on, invincibility. There we go. Finally fed my mag. Enough to get the enough chance for it to occur. Worst part is I'm not even using like a suboptimal mag. Like it really is the best one for bosses. I'm just getting really unlucky. Because even without any synchro, it's 50%. Delicius is 55, but it doesn't go above that. I believe in your team. <laughs> I did 16 damage. I did it. Sapling. Ooh, only a 49 meter. That's not good. I gotta make up a lot of meter here. <laughs> or get deleted by Gal Griffin. Both of those would fix my meter. Or if he was like, those geese in front of you, they're mine. 
deleted. It is kind of sad that until you get like Red Ring, that really is the Fomar best option. Spam that Megid button. Just believe in Megid. God technique. And you get the you get the wand to give it piercing. Or dirty life jacket. Or cursed cloak. The full commit. Uh that should be everything up there. I actually killed it with Rivarda. That was that was a shameful death from that enemy to actually die to tech damage. Just oof. You know what's sad? I think Rivarda is actually faster than using Mech Gun. Yeah, it is. Yeah, for that last little bit of damage if I miss it. I was just thinking, can you imagine if they did announcements without any percentage? It's like, blah blah blah, it's found Jaya. Blah blah blah, it's found Jaya. Blah blah blah, it's found Jaya. Just over and over. That'd be quite something. Seven meter. Okay, I made it back up. Pretty good with the clears there. I'm gonna make sure I'm not shooting max distance, because if I do have to use power attack, it does knock them backwards, which is unfortunate. There we go. Ooh, pushed out of range. Nice to meet This sounds really familiar. What is this from? Oh, is this like a super remix of Metal Gear? I'm not used to hearing it as like a dance version. I think it is. I mean, I was thinking it had to be Konomi related. Oh yeah, because it's a da -na -bum 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 -da -na Oh yeah, it's that song. It's just in dance form for some reason. There you go. Metal Gear Rave. Oh, I got zapped. That sucks. This takes so much damage. I think this character will be very exciting to use with Red Ring. I think now that she has like blue, like I think I started having fun with her around 150, which is pretty, 
pretty late into the game, but I think with Blue Odoshi Blue Violet Nibidel, it gives her the needed slot so she doesn't feel completely terrible. But yeah, she is so item dependent, it's kind of insane. Like, I thought the Hue cast needed a lot to go through, and I was like, little did I know, the Hue New Rolls. Endgame is just ridiculous. Stark has found Howard of Egg Blaster, nice. Pick for the team slightly. There we go. That's what I tried doing the other time, and it didn't work. I guess it depends on who starts the room and whether or not I could do that. Leave the hell to the professionals, and I can build all my meter that I'm missing here. That way I'm still technically helping the run, because it's not like I do anything to the Morphos. Perfect. I'll right, leave the robots to them. Seventy-nine percent. Getting up there. Oh, this one again. The hero. I think the song is literally hero. <laughs> we heard like four versions of this a while ago. Makes sense. So we're probably, hopefully, at the end of the soundtrack. Otherwise, I don't know like, why they would be playing this. Take that Rico boxes. So close to leveling. So maybe I will level then. Guess I got more than I realized from that. There we go. Punish them. And freeze. What a relief to know how to do this room now. That bothered me for the longest time. I was like, man, every time I tried near the doorway, it didn't work. Okay, let me Rebarda. I hit him. Didn't freeze him, though. Oh, come on. I didn't think he was allowed to leave after that. I hit him. What a cheater. Whatever, I'm ignoring him. Rip Murphy. Yeah, since I'm at max meter, I could just use charge to speed this up a little bit. <laughs> Anything goes when you're at 100 PB. Now we can time save. We do special, special, special. Eh, probably better to just normal, special, special. So coming up on the final RT. Will we get anything interesting is the question. By all the enemies. Spawn them in, so Chat can just kill them instantly. Boy, I sure would love being able to see what's in front of me. Camera, please. <laughs> it's like, literally just blind firing, I can't see anything. Just aiming up for a dot on the minimap. I'm just like, hopefully this is useful. Okay, let's believe... Let's say this is the visual cue. Yeah, that's about right. So the light spot on the left is not a bad visual cue. So I guess if I were playing this without enemy reader, I could do that to determine. I got stuck on the corner again. Stupid corner. I swear it catches you more than it should. Okay. So I'm just gonna say twins. Hundred doll this time, I swear. There we go. Wow, we were here a whole minute faster? Wow. 
I mean, whatever the, whatever the team adjusted, which I think I saw more last one use than other things in the Gee Room, that was really fast comparatively. So that was the same speed as when we were using 3 Hell, I think. But this time we have the super buff too. Yeah, that was really fast. Good adjustment from the team. Just, I, I really do think those Geese, when we ATP them, save so much time. Like, we lose like 12 seconds, but then we save 30 seconds or 40 seconds of Chainsaw. And I definitely think the switch for me to making sure I special after I get the meter also saves like maybe about a second per kill. Because I'm not needing to combo kill them as much. Ooh, so close. I'd be able to tag them to here though. Nice. We'll take that. We splat. Rip Oga Flow. Only 2,000 from leveling. Nice. You are the only hero in the <laughs> I was gonna say. I was about to. I was about to joke right here. Another version of this song. This is the Bomberman theme. Okay. So I'll hit 174. Six levels from needing Red Ring. GG. I'll take the level up. So yeah, maybe with this character's tankiness, maybe I can start doing Surface Episode 4 again. I tried using them against Astar because it is blue ID, but I didn't have a lot of fun with it. But I'm hoping between that and just actually being max ATP makes Solo a lot more fun. Dango flexing on the boss. <laughs> Level up. I mean, more MST is good for me. I have to unlock stuff later. So I'll take whatever MST I could get at this point. Okay. So I got enough time for one CTF, and that'll be the last one. No more runs. Thank you, Loki Shiji, for the follow. Hopefully you're doing well. Synchro's almost fixed. Weapons are pretty good. <laughs> I was kind of laughing the other day. I looked up arbitrarily speedrun of episode 2 and I saw that they did it in like 3 hours or something like that. And I'm like, how to ultimate? And I'm like, how did they do that? And then like the first 20 minutes they were uh, stacking weapons onto their character. So they had like 30, 30 savers equipped to just be swinging for thousands of damage. I was like, oh, that explains that. Yeah, I don't need to put anything else. Yeah, the game GameCube glitch, yeah. And this is the first time I've ever seen that, actually. I wasn't aware that was a thing. I knew about the item duping by pulling the NPCs. It's the only way to do it in less than two days, I think so. But I was kind of laughing at it. <laughs> I, was watching, I was watching them juggle the sabers. They had like the the sabers sticking in the air and they're shooting from like the hilt because it was also acting as a handgun. Okay, GG says, just came back to the game. Glad got you live. Just wanted to say thanks for those vids explaining quest weapons. I'm new, so definitely help. Well, Loki Shiji, you are in, I would say good timing slash good fortune. So we'll be doing another guide on Wednesday. So if you're around to watch it live, we'll go through Ultimate. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's very silly. Or sometimes it shoots from the tip of the sword. So yeah, if you want to see portions of the guide early, we have it up on the Discord. And by the time you hear this on YouTube, it will probably have already been up for several weeks. So no worries. So if you do want to take a sneak peek, that'll be on the... If you do exclamation mark Discord, well, we have it all up there. It even has like a little cheat sheet thing for ultimate. That took a very long time to do. <laughs> I, show, I showed it off, I think, last week. It was like... 80-something pages between two documents, and then there's a supplemental document. Chris 20 Saber is here, not wrong. So I was kind of laughing at it. Yeah, the Google Doc is completed. I don't think there's anything else I really want to touch on it. The okay, boxes are already checked. So I might as well just kill these couple. Just for PD chances for the team. Ooh, I was slightly out of range of the last one, unfortunate. So we're going to kill this enemy here. <laughs> Imagine a Grievous Duct Tape 20 lightsabers, maybe. So we'll move on to... How much of these are overlapped? Some of them are overlapped? We'll listen to some online again. I think we heard some of this earlier, but I might as well just play the soundtrack out. My bad. So sadly, no PDs from the uh, joke checks. Although those are more serious checks when we uh, are in events. Knowing that, like, one Zalore, two Confuse Traps can just get you three extra PDs or badge checks if you're planning on doing Red Ring during events, for example. Sometimes it makes a difference. I mean, so far from those checks, I've earned probably about 14 PDs. Because all you need to do is just keep rolling and believing. As long as it doesn't, like, take too much time away from the run, it's fine. Rip my accuracy reader. Nice photon draw. Another box PD. Yeah, we seem to be getting a lot of boss box PDs. I like the Dango cheering emote thing. It's quite something. Two, three, get hit, whatever. Why we have HP? Slime dude. Do I go for the greediest of clears? Let's go for the greediest of clears. Ooh! Oh, that was such a good clear. Normally you do that if you're playing purple ID. Doing something risky like that. Oh, I need to get out of there. There's nano dragons. I was <laughs> like, nobody was gonna save me from those nano dragons. I was straight up gonna die. I just eat some mono mates as I go by the chat. So yeah, killing those lowlies nets you more PD chances than killing the other room. That's why I decided to do that. One, two, three. There are people that care about rare slimes. Like, we are playing Sky ID earlier. Sky ID cares about rare slime. Chat walking all over my wall of slimes. Chat trolling by pulling one of the slimes out of range. That should kill, though. Okay. And get mag invincibility. That's so unfortunate. So let's go to the other end of the raft so I don't take damage. I 
downside here, I am kind of vulnerable. I might just use Jaya twice. Yeah. Use it three times, just in case. I saw the team, basically nobody had invincibility, so it just made sense to wrap it up sooner. Oops. I started running the correct direction, and I reversed it by accident. Yeah, like, I think we were talking before, red ID killing these guild chicks is worth it. But honestly, I just like getting into a habit. Oh, they got Zalord? GG, they're so dead. I can't see their health totals without the monster reader, but I guarantee you they're basically all dead. Yeah. So that's just free PDs. I'm only like two seconds in steps behind team, and we have like four seconds of downtime anyway at the end of this. So I'd rather just get that little bit of extra XP slash PD checks. Uh, let's do a freeze trap here. Might as well get a couple kills. That's good. And we should be in time for the Sinnoh Red. Uh, so that should be perfect timing for freeze trap. So without needing to shoot it, it just freezes them instantly. That's something I've been working on. The the no gun free strap setup. Where I just want to focus on damage when it drops. Oh, I should have used Berserk there. Played a little too cautiously. So we kill those just because of the fact that uh they do drop something interesting for Sky ID, but like that's that's a real draw. There we go, nice and clean. Is this a quick twin blaze? Pretty fast clears. Love to see it. <laughs> like to think the mag was dancing to the music. team. Stun locked. I'm still not gonna get over how much damage you cast does to this boss. It's so disgusting with 13. Like actually dead, GG. <laughs> it got five swings out. What a character. Well, that's a lot of materials. I need to pick them all up, I think. Soul, mind. Go pick up the Zond, I don't need it. Just level 20. Let the team get by, and then I'm just gonna confuse trap them for free kills. See the enemy just sucked into Hellcleave. It, it, it's like Ranger must destroy. Ooh, goodbye. Put a freeze trap here. Put a freeze trap here. Punish the sorcerer. Get punished because my freeze trap missed the other target. That's okay. Ooh. But the team killed the other one. Unfortunate. So we'll switch to red handgun to shoot the spinners here. <laughs> like the little charge ray gun that I think Murphy's using. Pew pew pew.
Rip Dango. I was gonna say I I put in the training as the hunter. I feel like it paid off. I, I think I think the way to kind of view the game is like Ranger is easy mode, you never have to learn anything in order to defeat enemies. Just stay at a distance, you win. Then there's like forces where you have to pay attention to some weaknesses, and like you need some support items in order to do well. Or at least pay attention to the elements, so like you have to react to what they are and care about what they do. Then Hunter is like, oh my gosh, every moment is agony. <laughs> like, I hope I get all my timings down. Never whiff anything. Gotta be in the perfect position. Meanwhile, Ranger is like, oh, I'm vaguely in the same block as the target. I'm gonna hit it still for max damage. Ranger's cheat. Every moment is agony, one shot the up. Yeah, I think just practicing to do Dark Flow. Like, I think my boss strategy on Falls is much cleaner than it was. Like, compared to, like, today to, like, last year when I was still learning. It's, like, a huge difference. Well, I got two shots that time. Nice. Uh, I should probably have crossed over sooner. I might take damage here. Oh, or not. Rip leave. Uh, I'm gonna hug the wall even though we're on the right side because that at least reduces damage. I will gladly take that knockdown. I will gladly take the knockdown again. Hmm, unfortunate. I'm gonna die mate for safety. There we go. Yeah, this is the one where this is the one where I need practice. This is the only time where you have no visual cue, to my knowledge, unless you memorize the floor. Where specifically you need to stand it, get the max distance mech gun, and still land the three hit combo. This one is brutal. So it's like right here. Yeah, so if I do it any later than that, it won't combo. Because you saw it immediately went shields up on us. Oh, if I landed that, that would have done so much damage. That's chipping it out a little. That was very risky. I don't know why I special attacked on that last shot. It should have just been heavy attack. It would have been strong enough. And less of a gamble. GG. But yeah, it's like it's like right before you touch the inner ring of the ring, you have to shoot, regardless of the vigil. Or else you're you're only gonna get two strings of Vulcan out. And you miss a lot of damage. So if everybody misses that, that's like 4 or 5k that you lose by not landing that shot. Because I think Tiki brought that up on, on stream like a couple weeks ago, and I was like, oh yeah, what is the distance on that? So because I've been doing a lot of Hugh cast runs where his only option is Vulcan versus like Last Swan or something, I had to learn it. And it's not something I needed to bother with as Ranger. That's what I'm saying. Rangers just cheat. They don't care. I don't, I don't learn the mechanics of the game as the ranger, other than how to dodge things, maybe. Big cheaters. We stock our items. Rip my money. Nothing of interest in the shop, and that's fine. Ranger learning arithmetic. <laughs> Learning advanced unit tactics. I was gonna say, Hun Hunter, meanwhile, is like... It's kind of like the difference of trying to learn basic algebra, and then they're, they're over there trying to do uh, literal rocket science with the Hunters. <laughs> figuring out every single frame, every single weak side of an enemy. Ranger's like, gun go boom. <laughs> they just kill everything. <laughs> like, I got Heaven Striker. It's over. There's th that That's the answer to all equations of Ranger. Just use Heaven Striker. GG. So sadly, no red rings for anybody today, or uh, parasitic gene blows. But hey, we got some levels. Let's let's chat a little bit. So, what's a nice little quick bonus stream? Hopefully people enjoy it uh, on YouTube. But as I said before, I don't think we're going to be doing a lot of PSO games between now and the next big event. But I figured a few more is, you know, going towards supportive people. Uh, that are getting into PSO, and hopefully the guide will help in the meantime. 
it's definitely really important if you can you get as close to ultimate as possible before the event just because being able to team up with people for anniversary event in particular is so powerful or if he's saying it's for 27 hours raising this mag it's even v to deserve this yeah pretty much Meanwhile, Hunter's like, I played for 100 hours, I still can't combo. <laughs> it's like, I don't understand how to hit anything, they move too fast. Oh, man. But anyway, Chan, I think that's it from the perspective of PSO. So thank you all that joined, thank you those that watched and played. But I think it's time to say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you again for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.